time. Michael, if they all run at you, remember Scotty's right here. Bill's right here. Max back to him. Nine seconds, a lot of time. Pass me the aspirin bottle. Get the oxygen tent ready. This is unbelievable. Bulls down by one. Nine seconds to play. They lob it over the top to Jordan. Jordan gets it. Changes direction. Pull up jumper left side. Come on, baby. Ball. Get it in. Get it out. Get it out. Ball knocked loose. Grab by the Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers steal game one from the Chicago Bulls. It felt good. It rattled in the... And it came out. I just knew Michael Shaw was going in. When I seen it, it was on target. It was up high enough. I was like, this is it. it rattled in and rattled out. I was like, oh, my gosh. A lot of distractions. Uh, we're going to have to, you know, something L.A. has gone through and learned uh, how to deal with before. We, we haven't had to do that. We're going to have to learn in a hurry. We're going to win the series. There's no question about it. This is, singularly, the biggest game in the 25-year NBA history of the Bulls franchise. We felt like we were unbeatable, but you know they they proved us wrong, and now we got to go back to the drawing board and come up with something new. Los Angeles Lakers are in the catbird seat after lifting the home court advantage from the Bulls. You get to this point, and they will drown you, flat drown you. We go down like you live tonight, okay? Take this game, let's uh, wrestle it out of their grasp, and go to LA. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. All right. All right. All right. Only two teams have ever lost the first two games of the finals and come back to win a championship. Well, we know we got to win. I don't think it, you should panic because when you panic, you really don't play your best basketball. We've been in a situation a lot. We just about know what we have to do in those situations. So we're used to it. The Chicago Bulls admit that this is the biggest game of their basketball life. They felt they had that because we were nervous, we, we lost that composure, and they thought that the nervousness and, and the tentativeness would have been there again, but it wasn't. Led by a determined Michael Jordan, the Bulls would serve notice early that game one was already a distant memory. Michael Jordan just kind of running the show, distributing the basketball. What a pass from Jordan. Jordan's biggest beneficiary was a resurgent Horace Grant who poured in 10 first quarter points. Here's Grant. I got embarrassed in the first game and I just took it upon myself to take it to him in the, the next game. The Bulls had turned their game up a notch, but the Lakers would not be easily shaken. And although the Bulls' offense was in high gear, the complexion of the game was about to change. And that is number three on Jordan. As the Bulls found their best defender in foul trouble, Chicago would need someone to step to the forefront. Here's Magic with the basketball. Scotty at the top, and we're taking Magic out of the ball. Got it? The daunting task of containing the Lakers' living legend now fell upon Scottie Pippen. To have the opportunity to play against a guy like Magic, someone that I always idolized and watched, you know, I felt like that I had to step up and put all that behind and go up and do my best. Notice the matchup with Pippen on Magic, a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, able to bump, be physical with Magic. Pippen's smothering defense on Magic grounded the Laker attack. While the Bulls could now set their sights on ruling the airwaves. Jordan with the step and the bucket. Michael Jordan on fire. Jordan. Yes. The Bulls have exploded. Trolling a alley oop pass underneath the. Oh, it's good. Right it is. Yes, yes, yes. Under pressure, right corner, Paxson. He comes up shooting in. Oh, it. Johnny! Led by an unconscious Jordan, Chicago exploded, showcasing a little bit of everything, and then some. A spectacular move by Michael Jordan. That's 13 consecutive field goals. 
Cliff threw it back to me, and I saw a clear lane to the basket, so I was going to dunk the ball. I exposed the ball, but then I saw long arm Sam Perkins there, and, uh, and it was just instincts to change it. And I changed it to my left hand and was able to get it off. When he came down the lane, he just, you know, went one way, put it in one hand, floated it about, a, about a five more yards, said, well, I don't know, and then he went off against the glass. So it was his game tonight. He really took it over in the second half. The only thing is, no matter if you get beat by one or 20, it's still 1-1.